Jackie Bailey's debate today is timely. Timely because this week we learned about damning minutes of meetings by senior management of Scotland's health boards, which are ultimately under the control of the Scottish Government's Health Secretary. These minutes tell us that the Health Secretary's NHS bosses have been weighing up charging wealthier patients to access NHS services. After 500 days of failure in charge of Scotland's NHS, this is a new low. The Cabinet Secretary is on record saying that he would never consider charging anyone to use the NHS and that he finds the ideas abhorrent. I wonder if he also finds his record in office to be abhorrent. Here's a snapshot. The worst cancer waiting times on record, the worst delayed discharge record, with an average of 1,832 beds occupied each day due to delayed discharge. And you're hearing the Cabinet Secretary from a secretary position say better than England. We live in Scotland! The worst NHS backlogs. Almost 700,000 patients were waiting for NHS treatments, according to latest figures, the highest number since that were recorded in its current form. I will, yes. Gillian Martin. As Andelsh Gilhani says, you know, we live in Scotland. Yeah, we do live in Scotland, but the Tories are presiding over the English NHS. So isn't it right for us to criticise your policies in England where you're privatising by stealth day on day and day? And yeah. Carl, what people won't want you in government in Scotland because you're the To the chair, Ms Martin. <laughs> Dr Gilhani. Well, the first thing to say is you should be representing your constituents. To the chair, Dr Gilhani. The, 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 the member should be representing her constituents here. The second thing is, we can't trust SNP statistics as we have found out when it came to energy because they are not comparing England properly. If we look at the stats, it is clear, it is clear the SNP stats are false. To be clear, and let's be clear, this is not the fault in any way of hardworking NHS frontline staff. And perhaps instead of platitudes from the Cabinet Secretary, he should fund us properly. Now, such is the seriousness of this week's revelations that the First Minister also weighed in, saying emphatically that the founding principles of the NHS are not up for discussion. Well, they are being discussed under the SNP's watch. And what else could be being discussed? Uh, yes, if I can get the time back. Yeah. I wonder if Sanders Gohani will recognise and apologise for his parties economic mismanagement, which has meant that my health budget is worth £650 million less. So if he thinks there are other places where we should be reprofiling the health and social care budget, he should name them. But at the very least, he should stand up and apologise for his party's economic mismanagement. Dr Gohani, I can give you up to five minutes. Well, the first thing to say is uh, that when errors, when errors were made by, by Liz Trust and Kwasi Kwarteng, they resigned, unlike the SNP, who never take responsibility for anything. The other thing to say is I'm not sure if the Health Secretary looks around the world and sees inflation being a global issue. And the last question, the last question that the Health Secretary asked, maybe you should listen to your own questions. £1.5 billion... Cabinet Secretary... His last question, £1.5 billion setting up a bureaucratic national care service. There we go. Found your money. We hear that senior management are concerned about the disconnect between political decision makers and clinicians. They speak of a siloed conversation behind the government's closed doors without the chief medical officer and chief nursing officer. Language that is so stark that senior management appears to have little confidence, little trust in this health secretary. His input, his suggestions are divorced from the reality of life and purpose of the service. Let that sink in. Divorced from the reality of life and the purpose of service. Presiding officer, primary care is the backbone of our health service and the NHS is at breaking point. Increasing unsustainable demands, limited capacity, GP experiencing burnout, demoralization, ultimately more and more doctors at the end of their tether choosing to leave the profession. Last year, the Scottish Government pledged £30 million in a sustainable support package. But what we saw was a cut in this year's budget of £5 million. So instead of grandstanding, instead of talking about money they don't have and using it on their pet projects, they should be funding the NHS properly. And let me reiterate, every additional day this Health Secretary remains in office makes him and the SNP Green Government he serves even further divorced from reality. You cannot trust the SNP on health. 
NHS staff and patients don't trust his Cabinet Secretary, neither do, it seems, senior NHS managers. He should do the right thing and step down. I move the Scottish Conservatives' motion in my name and a declaration of interest as a practising NHS doctor. Thank you, Dr Gohani.